Hey, how's everyone doing today? Uh, hopefully everyone's having a good weekend. Weekend? Yeah, it's a weekend. Um, I figure that since I'm already into 20 or 30 different projects already and behind on pretty much everything in my life, I figure the most sensible thing for me to do is to start one more project. So, let's get into it. I'm doing this testing with my junky Walmart battery that 11, 14... To 11, 19, would be five years if I add up correctly. And it says it has a five-year warranty program. I probably, I probably should bring it back. I mean, you can look at that terminal. It's like oozing you know, battery acid and stuff. But it works for testing, so that's what we do. What we have is a no-contact liquid sensor. I'm going to try to get this in close. Y'all can read it. These are $10 on Amazon. I can read that. I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, let's play with this. This unit has a plug. It can plug into... Um, it plugs into something. They can read it. We're not going to use that. I believe some of them, I can't think of the word for it, but they've got those little, um, little itty bitty PCs they're making. I think they have those where they can work with these things, but we're we're not going to complicate it. This is just uh, going to be a simple project and I'm doing this on this bench not in the vehicle I'm not doing the vehicle application right now I'm doing it here to show everybody exactly how to do this where if I was doing an actual install in the vehicle it would be more complicated I would have to move the camera around to different things longer wires all that good fun stuff let's just keep this simple this is a 12 volt installation, so you will need wire, you'll need um, nuts, wire nuts, different things, whatever, electrical tape, whatever your connectors are. This is going to take LED lights because that's how I'm working it. I've got these, I mean, I buy them bundled. They're like almost nothing a piece. You buy a bundle of them, you know, they're cheap. So we'll need those. We'll need the sensor because it is what it is. And then we'll we'll need water. We can't do anything without water. We aren't using this plug. These come with a plug. You can plug it into some fancy things. We're not doing that. We're keeping this simple. Let's see if I can pull this back a little there. You've got, what do we have? Black, blue, yellow, tan. That's our wire setups. We are going to cut this end off and direct wire this for this application. And just like that, it's wired. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that look like a professional wiring job? <laughs> Anywho, so what you have, see if I can pull this up. This is actually, tan is the positive on this. Tan is positive. And blue, blue is negative. And what we're doing here is we're also running this through... An LED light. So we've got a little LED light here. And the LED light, black, actually goes to yellow, which is your negative is yellow for your LED. And then your black is positive for your LED. Quick run through again. Your incoming voltage to power the unit is tan, is positive blue is negative and then our indicator LED is yellow negative black positive the unit itself if I can pull that back into here the unit itself has an LED light on it that will light when it detects water it will light up the second one here with the LED little bulb I'm showing you here this is for remote monitoring. This will go directly onto the tank. This will go to my control panel. So I can look at my control panel and I can see if it's lit up or not. We have our tank. This is our tank. There's our sensor with its LED. This is our remote sensor with an LED. Hopefully that shows up when we do this. And here we have glass water simulating filling our tank. So 
So let's see what happens as this fills. We'll try not to spill too much on the table. There we go. Okay, both indicators turned on. We'll go ahead and disconnect power to this. Okay, so this is remote. It's gonna go somewhere that you can easily see it. This will be attached to the tank. And when it gets half full, you light up. That way you know. You could, um, you could do four of these. You could have like, do it in quarters, one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, and full. You can also do this on your, you can do this on any kind of tank. You can see how full it is or how empty it is on your fresh water tank. Um, you put one of these quarter, you know if you're three quarter, you know when you get down to half, you know when you're down to a quarter tank of water, and you know to get a refill. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put two of them on mine. I'm going to put it in thirds. I know when it's full because I filled it and I will have a sensor at two-thirds and I will have a sensor at one-third and I'll know when it gets down to one-third I know that I need to work on getting close to water to fill my tank up and um, like I said these are ten dollars each so that's twenty dollars a little bit of wiring a couple LEDs and a little switch and I will be able to monitor my water tanks here is what we're doing the unit is powered and then we're actually going to bring it to the water to simulate the water change and it lights up and it turns off it lights up turns off lights up turns off pretty simple this is a uh, no contact solution for your water tanks Alrighty, well there you have it. I hope someone finds that useful. If you have any questions, um, leave comments below. Um, what we have, essentially a little recap, is a quick, cheap water level sensor for your tanks, your fresh water, your gray water, whatever. You know, it's, it's cheap, it's easy, it's, it's no, uh, no contact, which means you don't have to drill holes in your water tanks. When you drill holes, Water comes out of them. Eventually, you're asking for a leak. If you have to, if you have to drill a hole, eventually, you will get a leak. Has my experience. So this is cheap. It's easy, and um, make it really convenient to check your water levels. And I like it, and that's what I'm doing. So.